Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to install Fedora 36 Server Edition on uh, VMware ESXi. So the first thing that you need to do is to download the Fedora uh, 36 uh, ISO image file. So open up a uh, new web browser tab and then search for Fedora. Click on the getfedora.org search result. And then uh, what I actually need you to do is to click on the download now button for the Fedora 36 uh, server edition option. So you just scroll down and then click on download now. Then click on the download button on the x86 64 bit uh, uh, ISO image uh, download option. Then once the download uh, is done, we you actually now need to upload this ISO file to the ESXi server. So open up a uh, new web browser tab or, and then type in the hostname or IP address of your ESXi server. So once you do that, click on the open the VMware uh, host client and then type in your username on your, and your password on the login page. So uh, click on the login button and then uh, click on the storage tab once you've actually logged in. Um, Click on the data store browser option or button, select a folder to upload your ISO file and then click on the upload button. Click on the Fedora ISO image file that you've actually just downloaded and then click on open. So you'll actually see a file upload uh, uh, progress bar on the top right corner of the data store browser. So once the upload process is done, the next step is to actually create a uh, rated Fedora virtual machine. So um, what I now need you to do is to click on the virtual machines uh, uh, tab and then click on create register VM. Select create a new VM and then give the virtual machine a name on the name uh, input field. So once you've actually identified your virtual machine, you now need to set the guest OS family to um, Linux in the OS version to uh, read it Fedora 64 bit. Select your data store and then click on next. And then on the customized settings uh, page, I need you to set the number of CPUs to four or less or more. Uh, set the amount of memory to four gigs of RAM. And then set the size of the virtual hard disk to 200 gigs. You also need to check and make sure that the thin provision op option is selected. And then on the CD DVD drive, select the data store ISO option. Choose the virtual, the virtual Fedora uh, ISO file and then click on the next button. So once you've actually done that, click on the finish button and the Fedora uh, VM is now created. Click on the name and then click on uh, power on to start the virtual machine. Click on uh, console and then click on launch remote console. So this will actually open up a window that will actually give us access to the graphic uh, user interface or terminal interface of the virtual machine. So on the on the console, um, use your arrow keys to select the install Fedora 36 uh, option and then press enter. So this will actually start the installer and then what we're actually going to do is to then Use this installer to install Fedora onto the virtual machine's uh, virtual hard disk. So the installer will take about a minute or so to load since this is actually the first time it's actually booting up. So you just have to be a bit patient and uh, once it's actually done, uh, we should be able to then uh, complete the installation. Um, so it's actually still, it's actually almost done loading now. And then once it's actually loaded up, click on English and then select your location on the right pane and then click on continue. So once you've actually done that, click on the install destination option, select the virtual hard disk that you've actually created and then click on done. The next thing you need to do is to set the, to configure the root account password. So click on enable root account and then type in a secure password for the root user account. So I'm actually doing that now. Uh, actually, let me just change that to something else. So I'm just going to set the password to network uh, 10. So it's just going to be a simple password that I'm just going to use for this demonstration. 
So click on the allow SSH login uh, checkbox and then click on done. So once you do that, you now need to click on the begin installation button to then kick start the installation process. So you actually see an installation progress um, bar and you just have to wait for the process to complete. So once the installation is done, you now need to restart the virtual machine. So click on the reboot system button and then the VM will then proceed to restart and then boot using the newly installed uh, Fedora operating system. So I've actually rebooted and it's actually booting up now. And then the other thing that I'm actually going to show you is to how to connect to the virtual machine via SSH and, and uh, uh, a command that you can use to check for updates. So I'm just going to log in to the root account now. And then the first thing that I'm going to check is the IP address for this uh, virtual machine. So run the command if config, and then you should see the IP address. In my case, it's 7.238. So I'm going to open up my Mac terminal application, and then run the command SSH root at 192.168.7.238. Then press the end. So I just need to type in the password that I set during installation. And there you have it. I've actually logged into the virtual machine. So to install updates and upgrades, run the command yum update ampersand ampersand yum upgrade. So it will actually prompt you to uh, agree to that. So type Y and press end. And it's actually downloading package updates as you can see now. So there you have it, folks. That you, that's how you can complete this setup. Uh, I'd like to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.